Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Leo. So let's go ahead and tune your energy, Leo. For those of you stopping by for the very first time, welcome to my channel and I hope you enjoy my reading. For those of you that's already part of the Intuitive Healer Tarot family, well welcome back guys and thank you so much for all your love, support and your understanding. I do have our number 40, the mirror card. This is Merope. It's reflect. I hold the mirror up to see, accept and love all of me. So we also have our creativity card. You love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination. So yes, there's a lot of really progressive energy around you right now at this time, Leo. So let's go ahead and pull from the Osho Zen Tarot and see what's in store for us. Whoa, right off the get-go, celebration. For those of you that are just tuning in please make sure that you like share and subscribe to my channel make sure you hit that notification bell and that red subscription button so you'll be notified when my new videos do come up and I am doing giveaways around the fall solstice and so I'll be giving away crystals and smudge sticks and tarot cards so you want to tune into that also I am available at this time for personal readings it is just a short window that I will be open for readings. The last time I opened that window, it got kind of crazy. So I'm just doing it in little increments. All right, so we do have celebration, exhaustion, maturity, and change. I will get into the Merope card in just a minute so we can talk a little bit about this. And there's some interesting cards showing up here as well. So let's go ahead and get into this Merope card. Because um, I want to kind of see what the general energy is um, with that Star Temple Oracle card. So Merope is the fairest star of the Pleiades star cluster. She's white and violet in color, but often not visible to the naked eye. Her name means face turned, referring to the myth surrounding her disappearance from the night sky. Her crystal is also the diamond and her chakra is the crown. So Merope is the only sister to marry a mortal. And that was King Sisyphus, known for his many crimes against the gods. It said that she was ashamed of her husband's crimes, that she hid her face, causing the seventh star of the Pleiades to fade gradually from sight. However, other ancient historical texts describe Merope and her mortal husband as a power couple with the shared vision of a utopic society. Together, they strived and succeeded in building and threat and building and thriving a kingdom. So interesting energy here because she is a medicine woman and she is a shaman archetype. Her ga galactic gateway is her crown chakra that expands and her claircognizance, which is her clear psychic knowing and connection to higher streams of universal knowledge. She is a priestess, so know that, and she's also committed to spiritual service, healing, and teaching others. She's also a voice and a leader of unity and transformation and balance in the world. She's a devoted practitioner of spiritual enlightenment and growth. So, of course, we know that our Leos are very, very intuitive beings. And, you know, I think Leos are sitting in a really, really happy space at this time. You know, this is your birthday month. And if you already had your birthday, there's been a celebration. So for those of you that are sitting and happy, it's just going to continue to grow. I think in the past there was a lot of overthinking on things. I think that it caused some havoc mentally and could have caused some exhaustion because there were 
too many things that needed healing. And so with the past, that brought that healing. For those of you Leos that have walked through the dark night of the soul within the last two years, which I'm sure a lot of you have, have experienced that mental exhaustion because it's a different type of exhaustion than your physical. I think that through that pain, Leo, that you actually started to mature and you started to realize that your life could be a totally different way. And you started moving in the direction towards that, whether people around you like that or not. They definitely started to see that you were maturing in such a wonderful, I say blooming way. There's a lot of flowers here. So for those of you male or female cross watchers, whoever's tuning in, go ahead and move the characters as need be to fit your situation. If there's only little juicy nuggets that you take from this, they'll take it and leave the rest for someone else. With all of this mental exhaustion and this healing space within the last two years, there has caused an upheaval in your life. And that's because change was on the horizon. Change was going to formulate a new plan. And you are in a very creative space at this time, Leo. But you have to understand that you can't do, well, the totality. You can't do the push-pull right now. you got to focus on the goal. And for those of you Leos that are really trying right now to succeed in something, I feel like, well, your time is coming. And I think that it would be best to stay out of the drama because we do have number seven in politics card that talks about deception. The politics card is always about putting on an ugly face and maybe the person that you dealt with in the past was very deceptive to you Leo um, because I do sense that they were calling you crazy with the schizophrenia card but I don't think you were crazy I think that they were crazy and that they were mirroring you because we do have the mirror card and so for that stuff that they were you know unleashing on you while well, they were mirroring their own healing their own stuff, stuff that they didn't like about you, Leo. They were marrying that so that you could assist them towards their own healing because you're in balance now. You're an integration point. You've already passed through initiation. And what does that mean? Initiation is coming to that awareness that there's healing that has to be done. Coming to that space where you understand that those pains need to be fixed. You know, I say this a lot in my videos, but especially with the Leos, I think that it's important to know that it's okay to lick your paws sometimes. It's okay to go through things because you're strong. You know, you are the king of the jungle. You are the lioness or lion. And I think people in your past didn't really recognize you for who you truly were. Or at least they weren't trying to look at the best parts of you. So through your healing, through creating that integration period where you started to feel more balanced, well, the universe wanted you to have some patience because all those good things that you were trying to manifest once you got into a state of healing, well, sometimes the pot has to simmer. Sometimes the seeds have to germinate in the earth a little bit longer for them to be able to bloom, right? Because we're really moving forward towards our harvest. We are coming into a time right now where things are starting to ripen. Things are starting to illuminate. And the seeds that you planted in the past, well, they're ripening and they're coming to fruition. But it's also asking you to pull yourself out of that headspace of guilt from the past. Didn't work out with that person in the past, Leo, because it wasn't meant to. They weren't in alignment with you. They weren't after your highest best. They were only after their highest best, which didn't work out for them. But I am seeing, you know, with this. When we have the politics card and the schizophrenia card, I always say they're going to come back in. They're going to realize how good you were, Leo. They're going to try to see 
what they missed out on. And I think it's going to be too late this time, unfortunately for them. Because you're already in a state of manifestation. You're already in abundance right now. Love's coming in full spectrum. Abundance is coming in full spectrum. You have this very creative mind that is challenged by ideas. But also, you're trying to formulate those ideas and put them into reality. So, it's interesting that the mirror would come in. Because you might possibly be mirroring things in other people to create more healing within your life. For good reason. Because you've been through some stuff. I think I'm going to pull about four more cards from our Osho Zen Tarot. Spirit's kind of telling me. Get into it a little bit more. Thank you so much, Ascended Masters, Angels and Guides, Record Keepers, those that are passed over that are here to assist us and guide us on our true life path. Our true purpose here. Please assist us in guiding us to the correct messages for our lovely sign of Leo. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blessed be. Blessed be. It's done now. All right. We've got success. Well, there you go. Abundance and success. Yeah. I think that this person from the past, Leo, might try to come in after you become super successful and try to gyrate some things around. But I think that you're going to be like, no, I got claws in my paw. So be careful. Okay. So that's what I'm saying here is that you're not going to put up with that because there was too much guilt from the past. You wanted something substantial, and they were just crumbing you. They were just bread crumbing you. And you know what? We don't crumb our Leos. We don't, do we? Because they're beautiful. Their love, their happiness, their friendliness, and their prosperity in their mind constantly, or they're constantly trying to think of ways to help others, to be loyal, to bring in the light. So don't you dare let that person come in and try to get back with you, Leo. You're wasting your time on that one. Just saying. Yep, because they're not going to compromise with you. They're going to con continue to compare you to whoever they were comparing you to in the past. And there's no compromise here because you've already laid the law down. You're done with the nonsense. And, you know, the full card comes in here and says, it's time for you to take a risk on love and not the love from the past. Because Leo, my dear Leos, don't you dare go back in there and try to get up in that suffering and pain anymore. It's not really for you. So the full card says, I'm taking a leap of faith. And I'm going towards the light. I'm going towards my dreams. And I don't need to sit in the nonsense of the past or the guilt or the deceit. Because things are changing and they're changing in your favor. So I wouldn't even deal with stuff from the past. Honestly, just exit that door. And move towards the future. Because honestly, Leo, good is here now. And as good as it's ever been is here now. So we got two manifestations are powered by service and love. While we know our lovely Leos are always at service to others. Trying to make the world a better place. Right, Leos? Yeah. We really, really, you know, we tend to be nurturers. We tend to be those people that will wipe the tears off and... You know, give you a shoulder to cry on when you need it. But when Leos are in pain, they go in their den and they hide and they lick their wounds and then they come out after the wounds have been healed, right? So it says, as soon as I choose to see the light in the dark corners, I redire redirect my power towards what I want. And so, Leo, this is you just conspiring to have that better life. You are in creative mode. You are creating your life right now. And it's ever-changing, but at this time, it's going to do a 360. Because it's time to light up those parts of you that need illumination. Those parts of you that need healing. So go into that space. Ooh, when I cultivate a spiritual connection, I can trust the universe no matter what. Yeah, and I'm going to say that. You know what, Leo, you are love. 
my true safety lies in my capacity to align with the love of the universe. Yeah, and I think that you are starting to see that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and that all the nonsense in the past that you went through, well, it was a valuable lesson and it's over. Over and done with, so get out of there. It says, I am kind and loving towards others while creating clear boundaries that protect my good feeling emotions. It's okay to be in a happy space, Leo. You've gone through so much in your life. Don't continue that streak of crazy. Let yourself loose. Let it go. It holds no power, right? So let it go. My ability to receive is measured by how much I practice good feeling thoughts. So yes, it's you staying in a positive, higher vibrational system of yourself and knowing that everything that is meant for you is on its way now. Because the past, the future, and the present, they're all happening simultaneously in this very present moment. So ask yourselves, can you get there? Can you get to the present moment, Leo? Because if you can, you're going to write out all the good stuff. Because the universe has big plans for me and it's time for me to claim them. And again, like I said, with the abundance card, it's also talking about love, celebration, happiness. Leo, your dark days are gone, man. It says, to begin the practice of allowing, I must get out of the way and let spirit give me direction. Trust, Leo, that all that is for you will find you. And because of that, well... You know, there is a good, good situation happening here mentally for you. You're in a happy space. Finally, life is starting to look grander. Here's my last card for my super attractors. My greatest spiritual shifts don't come through force. They come through freedom. Yes, of course they do. Because you deserve freedom, Leo. You deserve all the best that life can offer. But you got to believe that. You've got to trust that. And you've got to make that part of your goal system, right? Write that stuff down. Get into that positive headspace because, you know, there's flowers all around you. When I make joy a priority, brilliant ideas will come naturally. Support will surround me and movements will form. So again, like I said, you are in a creative mentality, you are finding joy and happiness in your own life with yourself, whether you're with someone or not at this time, Leo. So we're going to get into the love thing in just a second here. It says appreciation dissolves all blocks to the presence of my super attractor power. So, and we know Leos are good manifestors because they're on it, right? They can love you. They can take care of the house. They can take care of the kids. They can pay all the bills. We're multidimensional in that way. We're multitaskers in that way. Being able to handle lots of different situations. So let's go ahead and get into our Romance Angels card. And I hope you guys have had a lovely birthday for those of you Leos that have already had your birthday. You know, we did go through the Lion's Gate and every year the Leos get to experience that crazy energy because that's our birthday month. And I think that, you know, we get to grow around our birthday every year. And we get to illuminate ourselves and come up with the ideas of what we have to take on to heal. To, to heal those lion paws of ours. All right, let's go ahead and pull from here. Let me get this going. We've got heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honesty, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So there is a new partnership happening for you, Leo. And... It's going to feel a lot better than the ones in the past. I think that the ones in the past maybe didn't show you that type of integrity that you deserved, Leo. Because we know our Leos are super loyal. They're not cheaters. They're loyal. Loyal to a fault sometimes. And here is children. Your love life is being affected by children. Well, 
you know, it could be affecting your life in a positive way because I don't feel like there's any negative energy here, Leo. But I do feel a major sense of positivity happening here. And so for those of you, Leo, that want children, well, they're coming. For those of you that have children and um, things are happening and life is getting a little chaotic with the COVID and all this other crazy, well, you know, we really, really have to find our peace so they can find their peace too. It's always a positive thing. Here we go. See, deception. I told you the politics card talked about that person from the past that was shady, Leo. So someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. So yeah, that is just a validation as to stay the heck out of the past because that guy well, or that girl didn't even know your value, Leo, because you're valuable. Oh, you're valuable. They're going to find out sooner than later. Because you freed yourself. You said, I'm done with the toxicity and I got to get on with my life. And I got to get on to a better, better life without deception. So it's time to take back control of your life, Leo. It's time for you to have things for yourself finally. Instead of being the one at the back of the line not getting anything when everything's been passed out. It's time for you to be at the first of the line to receive, right? So for those of you Leos that are givers, well, you guys, you got to be in receiving in order to receive. Can't just be the giver. It creates that imbalance, right? All right. So we got, ooh, attraction. See, something good's coming in. You attract romantic love to, or by enjoying the moment fully. So yeah, Leo, there is happy love coming in here. And I'm going to say it's going to be passionate. It's going to be inviting. Maybe you'll find that person that is high integrity like you. Because you have realized that the person from the past was very co codependent upon you. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yeah, that person maybe had a drinking problem or drug problem. And you know what? That doesn't set well with Leos. We want somebody on top of their game. We don't want somebody that's got issues. Because we have that mental strength within us where we can overpower even our own obstacles and our own addictions. Right, Leo? So don't get up in that stuff. I got two more cards here I'm going to pull. Ooh, well, the universe gave me two more cards, but I had already pulled this one. So, yes, Leo, there is new love energy surrounding you. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, and it's going to get hot and heavy. I just think that you guys are maybe going to be really sexually um, in alignment. So lots of positivity happening here and playful. You guys are going to get to play with each other and have fun and actually start to see that life has happiness and joy and love and harmony in it. Leo, you deserve it, right? I think you do. So it's time to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yeah, this person is going to be delightful. Or the person that you're currently with at this time, Leo, well, life is going to get so much better. You guys are going to work through some of your problems and, you know, happiness is arriving at your doorstep. So take it in. It says, let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. And like I said, Leo, you are in a state where things are getting better. They really are. Happy times ahead. And I say happy times in the very present moment because the future is now. The past is now. That's why I say you can't go back because everything is now. So the angels want you to know this is a reiteration here that the red flags that you were paying attention to, well, they were cautioning, cautioning you because that was your gut feeling. You knew that person was shady. Leo, but for some odd reason, you just held tight to that, okay? This new individual is going to give you all the things that you want, Leo. It says engagement with new love. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So yeah, positivity is on the horizon here. And the new love that you've been wanting to experience, Leo, well, it just showed up. 
So if you want to go a little bit deeper into this reading, Leo, I am available for personal readings at this time. And if you'd like to book a reading with me, all my information is down there in that description box below. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you're hitting that red subscription button and that bell so you'll be notified when my new videos do come up. And as always, I am here to support you, love you, and understand you. So call on me for help. I'm here to guide, I am here to love, and I am here to support. So thank you so much for all your subscriptions, and have yourself a fantastic day, and namaste.